how to integrate Stripe to collect recurring payments as well as regular regular payments on your website. This is for a WordPress website. So before I dive in and show you how to do this all for free with Stripe and integrating it, integrating it using their code, uh, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole. What I first started to do is finding different plugins that would work. And so obviously I came and found this. There's seven Stripe WordPress plugins. 2020 is pre and paid. Most of them are all paid uh, if you want to do reoccurring. So there's WP Simple Pro, uh, Simple Pay Pro. Uh, that's about $99. WP Pay Form Multiple Payment Gateway Plugin again fifty nine Pay WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway again if you used WooCommerce I wouldn't recommend it compared when you have a Shopify out there in the marketplace fifty nine WP Full Stripe come in here forty nine uh, extended license all that renew is Stripe Payment Terminal WordPress uh, twenty one. Uh, Stripe Green Downloads, uh, that gets into $19. WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway, uh, there's no cost, and that goes into WooCommerce. But typically, there there is a cost when it, it, it gets set up in there. And then Stripe Payments, Optimum Stripe here, free. But anytime you upgrade, it's going to ask for the reoccurring payment plan. So there's all different things. You can go into their, their websites, their download packages as Stripe Payments, the WooCommerce one, uh, the Stripe Green Downloads. And they offer all great features and they'll integrate on your website and you can set up tracking. And yeah, it might be a little more effective to be uh, paid or you can just use what I'm gonna show you here in a second where it's just using Stripe to integrate it, right? And here's the rest of them. Uh, and feel free to use these. Uh, I don't get any affiliate commission, uh, any of that stuff. And like I said, they work and they they're, have some great things. Uh, the, what I did do is we use uh, Elegant Themes, right, for our WordPress dashboard. So if you go into our WordPress page here, so you can see here, uh, this is just a, a fairly blank canvas of a, a website we're just working on and I want to show you so if we exit visual builder right now uh, we're gonna just discard and exit here go in here so if you notice when you scroll here and hit checkout it's gonna go right into uh, the checkout stripe payment page it's gonna pull it up and people can purchase the reoccurring payment it's that simple so we're gonna add show you how to add a second one here so hit the back button. We're going to go into wherever this is. We're going to hit enable visual builder. Let this load for a second. And then why that loans, we're going to actually go into creating a product. And we already have one created, but I'll just show you walking through how simple it is. So you're in Stripe. You just click add payment, put in the information you want in here, upload the image, add the description, come to the pricing, right? Come to pricing, put in whatever you want. Uh, it's gonna require us to do this. And then we can go into pricing, come down here, put in whatever we want. Is it reoccurring? Is it one-time payment? So reoccurring monthly, weekly, daily, whatever you wanna set. Uh, you can put additional options, price descriptions, free trials, and so forth. And you just click Save Product. So we have one in here. So we're going to click this. Once you have one created, uh, you can come down here. You're going to see these three lines here under Pricing. Click that. You're going to hit uh, Get Checkout Code Snippet. So this is where you can create a success URL. So this is a once somebody pays, they're going to land on this page. And that's where you put your tracking pixel for a purchase, uh, for a cost per acquisition through Facebook, through Google, or any other platforms. Obviously, if the URL is canceled, they go to this one, you put the tracking on that, and then you can run retargeting ads. Then what you're going to do is come here and copy this code here. So we're going to copy this, just click copy, and then you're going to come into your website. So we're going to 
recreate this for you guys. So we're going to delete that. So we're going to be real simple here. We're going to just duplicate the duplicate this one. And then in here, we don't we come in here, we click add a code snippet. I really recommend elegant themes. It's a great theme. And then we're going to paste this code in here, right? So then we're going to hit save. Let's delete this one so it's not confusing. And there's one little issue that I want to solve by adding one set of code. So we're going to exit Visual Builder here. I want to show you what happens. And so on this one, you notice my mouse turns into a little clickable hand to do that. But the original code is set where it's not clickable, right? Even though you can click on it and it will go to that page. Uh, it just wasn't good enough for me. I want to make that code clickable. So you come into the code here and this is actually the code loaded and you notice this yellow code here. It has this cursor pointer and you want to add that in the style function under the background padding right after the size one EM you're going to see in here. So come in here. We're going to have to go back to enable visual builder. So come in here, we're going to edit this code, click the little wheel, click the uh, edit icon. So we got to come in here on the button. So notice radius font 1M. So we paste that code in here. So now it has that code. It added that and cursor pointed and it finished with that. So you got to make sure it's exactly that code. If you mess up one little thing, it won't work. And then just hit the check mark, come back in here, hit save. You can do this in any WordPress. You don't need elegant themes. Elegant themes just creates the WYSIWYG that allows you to just put in like a code snippet or so forth. Uh, come in here. Otherwise in WordPress, you would go into edit that HTML, find that code and put it in here. So now notice with that little check pointer code, so again, it's just this cursor pointer code here. We add that in Stripe. So when we scroll over, it looks like a more clickable button. And you can change the color by adjusting all that code as well, but we just really care about making it clickable. Like I said, we click that button and then it goes to the checkout page. The downside is we can't put our tracking pixel on this because this is the checkout Stripe URL. So that's in there. Obviously, if you're in Stripe and we're able to add the, the URL in here, that'd be great. I'm not sure if you can, the tracking pixels or any of that stuff, but you can quickly add a tracking pixel um, using Google Tag Manager. So if they click on this button, button, button using the CSS, then it would fire an add to cart. And then obviously if they purchase, they'd go to your uh, thank you page, that successful purchase URL, and that would fire a purchase. And that's how you would track all your purchases or cancel purchases or people who add to cart for retargeting and so forth. So it's that simple how to integrate uh, Stripe on your website, on your WordPress website. Like I said, I really recommend Elegant Themes. Uh, it's a great platform. It's super inexpensive. You can do so much with it with WordPress and design sites very quickly and effectively. Uh, setting up Stripe again is a quick integration. You don't need any of these plugins. So hopefully this was really helpful. Please like and subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Uh, set notifications on our channel. We really appreciate it. Share it with other pe people. Uh, again, this is how you integrate stripe with your wordpress website or any site for that matter that you can add that code to and all for free and integrate seamlessly without using plugins and so forth again thank you take care and wish you the best